Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I will be covering the new 0.9.8.50 experimental build that came out earlier this week. This update added new mines, and gave us the first look into the 0.9.8 update that will be coming out soon. So with no more delay, let's just get right into it. So the first and major addition with this update is of course the new mines. These explosive ordnance exist as a deplorable, high damage explosive trap that can be used tactically to counter enemy advances. So how do they work? Well, one can acquire one or more of these from an arsenal bin, and then equip it as if it's just another weapon or tool. Upon equipping it, you'll be able to place this mine. A small blue outline of the mine will appear on the screen. This is demonstrative of where the mine will go, so use this to carefully place the ordnance in an optimal position. Then, placing is going to take a few seconds as you have to bury the mine under the ground and fill it with gunpowder, so be sure you are away from enemy fire while doing this. So with the mine deployed, how exactly does it work? Well, the mines are well mines, meaning physically driving over it will cause it to detonate. Not physically driving over it will not cause it to detonate. It has a pretty large damage and kill radius, allowing it to completely cook an entire vehicle that is unlucky enough to drive over it. This includes both the BMP and the American Armored Truck. The fact is going to be increasing the usability of the mines, as if you are able to shoot the mine, it will detonate, and thus take out any enemies that are near it. Meaning the ordnance can be used as a tactical trap, shooting it as infantry or armor passes by will destroy them. Mines can be marked using little mine flags on the ground that can be placed by going into the inventory and dropping a flag onto the ground. This can be done by infantry units to make sure that their armor knows where enemy mines are and are alerted to that information. I think these new mines will honestly see limited usage. Maybe slight deployments near checkpoints to decimate CAV pushing through them, but aside from that, I really don't expect normal teams to fully implement these items into their tactics. But it is a certainly awesome addition and gives a nice taste of what to expect for 0.9.8 moving forward. Besides from this edition, this update came with a few other minor changes. First up, if you prone, the grass below you will now flatten underneath your weapon, allowing not only for you to look better game-wise, but it will also allow you to have better visibility on enemies and less awkward clipping through your weapon. Next, the change mentioned by devblock16 regarding the log files has been implemented, with new directors and timestamps to make log finding easier and more convenient for the player, which will really make bug reporting easier as well. Another change was mentioned regarding power lines and our grid. However, seeing as neither of these features are fully implemented yet, we can assume that this is just a sneak peek for what is to come with 0.9.8. On Xbox, there was apparently a fix to virtual mouse input. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but hopefully it is good news for you Xbox players. Finally, a player in building mode can now no longer delete static guns that have other players currently using them. So, once again, another update to reduce trolling that is occurring due to free build. As always, the update came with a massive series of tweaks and bug fixes, but I already mentioned the major ones that will likely impact gameplay in a very noticeable way, and it would just take me pretty much a large amount of time of just rattling off minor changes that are very high in technical jargon, so I am not going to go through those. This update was a solid sneak peek into the future with 0.9.8, and leaves us ready and waiting for the other features that that update will have in store. But for now, that's all I've got for you all today. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.